Greetings and welcome to Pinball Help. Today I am messing with the Bali Squawk and Talk board. This is a sound board that was used in um, about a dozen Bali games, pinball games from the 1980s. Uh, from, I think, uh, Flash Gordon down to 8 Ball Deluxe, Centaur, Mr. and Mrs. Pac Man. Vector and a bunch of other games. Uh, this board has got the ability to do music as well as speech synthesis. It's a pretty cool board. And in games like Centaur, they actually had a daughter board that, that was in, hooked into the system that uh, added reverb. So it had some pretty cool features. Anyway, this Squawk and Talk comes from our Mr. and Mrs. Pac-Man machine and we're continuing to do work on it. Uh, in this case, uh, the the music seems to be working, but the voice synthesis is not. I'm not exactly sure what the problem is. So I'm going to go over a couple of uh, standard things that, that are worth doing. If you've got a problem with the sound in these old games, sometimes it could be just the potentiometers, the volume controls. There's one in the door of the machine, and if you spray a little contact cleaner on it and wiggle it around, maybe that'll help. Also, on this board, there's two pots on the board right here, if you can see here and here. One is for the music and one is for the speech synthesis. So you can um, hit a little contact cleaner here and, and work these things with a screwdriver and uh, see if that helps. Um, and that, you know, always it's best to try the less invasive approach first before diving into any of the components. Now what I'm going to do, just because I've got the parts, is I'm going to replace the capacitors on this board. You can buy a kit online and it'll only cost you about seven or eight bucks uh, and you can get all the capacitors. And, and you can also kind of look up what the capacitors are and you can order them wholesale. It's actually cost you a little bit more. There's about 16 capacitors on this board. Uh, it's about nine bucks if you buy them in quantity. and and get them from uh, different places online. And uh, so I'm going to one by one be desoldering components off the board and replacing them with uh, new capacitors here. We've got uh, some big ones, some small ones, and uh, hopefully we're going to just basically bring this board back to life nice and fresh. Uh, some people believe in that attitude of if it's not broken don't fix it. Um, so there may, you might be able to fix this game just by fiddling with some of the pots or making sure the connectors, you know, the edge connectors are always problematic in these machines too, so you can clean them. You can take yourself a little thing of uh, 91 or higher percent alcohol with a Q-tip and you can just kind of go over and try to clean all of the different connectors and connections. In this case, I am going to replace some of the capacitors on this thing. And I'll use a little alcohol just to see about cleaning the connection. And uh, so I can lift this solder up more easily with the uh, desoldering gun. As always, you want to make note of where the positive and the negatives are on these things when you remove them. If it's not marked on the board itself, which it should be. So, there we go. And of course, another thing you can do when you're looking over these boards is you can actually physically examine these capacitors. Um, not, not all components that go bad will look different, but sometimes with capacitors, if you see any of them that are bulging, that's a sign that there may be problems. This, this game is so old that uh, it's... <clears throat> boy, if it's not the dogs barking, it's the phone ringing, it's always going to be something. Uh, I knew it. So, anyway. Okay, back to the video. Sorry about that. Um, if you see any, any of the capacitors that are bulging or they look like they're damaged, that's always a good sign, too, to replace them. What I'm basically going to do is I'm just going to rebuild this board. About the only components that will, that will really go out are going to be these capacitors. So, I've got... 
you know, cost me eight or nine dollars in parts, and I can I can replace them all, and they'll last another 20, 30 years. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to one by one go through and and remove the components from the board, being very careful, and uh, then I will replace them and uh, rebuild the board. So there we go. I guess we'll start with uh, capacitor C1. So that's this guy right here. So we'll make very close to make sure we got the right spot. See if this thing comes off. Look at that. That's the way we. That's the way we want to see it go. Come just, just come right out. You know, very nice. Ding. One capacitor to go. One, one down. Fifteen more to go. So I'm not going to bore you with uh, that. But then I will. I'm going to be working on this board, and we'll get everything replaced out. See how it goes. As always, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, visit the website pinballhelp.com. I'll have a lot more content and a lot more comments and information up there on the actual website. And uh, it's nice to know people are watching and that uh, they're finding this helpful. That's it. Thanks for watching.